apologize for the wind, but uh, I'm out here planting American hazelnuts. And my little hazelnut fenced in area, I got 34, I got seven rows of five minus this one here at the end, I wanted to have some room to open that gate and get a wheelbarrow in. You can see that I, uh, I put a little bit of mulch over each one. This whole uh, this whole area is gonna be packed with uh, with mulch. It's gonna be completely covered when I can get to it. I'm on the outside. I had some extra hazelnuts. I'm just putting a few on the outside. Just seven more. And I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So. I, uh, I dug this hole here. It's about another two feet. I have the hazelnut right here. It's a bare root. I've let it sit in water for oh about three hours or so. They say anywhere from a half an hour to no more than 24. Um, you let its bare root sit in water uh, to help them out. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and do this with one hand while holding the camera. But uh, so I'm going to hold this in this position right here. I want to get kind of the, the water line or the uh, the above ground line right at right at the at the uh, my ground line, and I want to just kind of tap in. See, I'm actually using my phone to tap in the dirt, but you just kind of tap in until that that backfills, and then you start to cover the roots with it. And I'll show you um, the next step. I can't do this all with with uh, just my two hands, I apologize for that. So give me one second, I'll show what I'm talking about. Okay, so at this point, it's in the ground, it's covered with dirt, kind of loosely packed. I'm gonna pour some water on there, let the water really soak it in. And what's gonna happen is that water's gonna sink and it's gonna help condense the, uh, the soil there. And then, once that water's in, I'm gonna fill this hole in some more. And uh, once that's all covered and everything is is in there, it's covered so that it's not so muddy anymore. You want to press down, kind of pack it in, and what and kind of wiggle your. I think what that's going to do is that's going to help eliminate some of the uh, the air pockets that are caused by loose soil. Uh, everything I've seen on YouTube and read says that. Uh, Air pockets will allow for uh, molds and other things to grow on your roots and then eventually kill your plant. So again, I'm not an expert in anything. All, all I know is what I've what I've read and what I've uh, heard other people talk about. So um, don't take my word for it, take theirs. I'm just repeating it. So I'm gonna fill this in some more and uh, let the water get in there. And then I'll just, I'll finish by uh, filling that hole the rest of the way with uh, with the rest of loose dirt, it'll end up looking like that. And then from there, I'm gonna cover the uh, the, the uh, thing with, with mulch. I used, uh, I used an auger to get about a 12 to 14 inch hole there. Um, that works really nicely. What I'll do is, eventually I'm going to kind of rake all that mulch up, get it as tight in as possible. And then I'll put either cardboard or newspaper down on the ground and I'll uh, cover the cardboard and newspaper with, with mulch. That cardboard and newspaper is biodegradable, and, uh, but it'll keep the, the grass from growing and breaking through. It'll keep weeds from getting through and it'll keep all that uh, organic material uh, on the ground. And so then that'll, that'll, it'll die off and it'll go back into the ground. And so you're not taking any, anything out. You're not, uh, you're not stripping the ground in order to try and put nutrients in later. You're using what's already there. Um, I think it's a really good idea. So if you have a, the non-glossy cardboard, you know, just the plain brown stuff, take all the staples and all the stickers and all that stuff off of it and, and set it down. I tell you, I, I did it in my back garden and it, uh, in eight months, I had really, really thick cardboard for giant shipping boxes uh, from a commercial company. And, there's no cardboard left, and that, that stuff back there is just fantastic for the breakdown of, of that and then the mulch on top of it. So, um, here's my uh, hazelnut hill right here. Um, 
I'll show you the, some updated videos and, and show you what it looks like when it's covered in mulch and these things break dormancy and these they get going. This is going to be this will be very, very good based on um, what I'm seeing in my other gardens I did last year. So um, hopefully this helps answer a few questions or, or make sense of something. Um, again, like I said, I'm not an expert on anything uh, other than how to troll YouTube. So, all right. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to give a little update on the hazelnuts. Uh, I told you that I had uh, 34 of them fenced in here in this main area. An additional seven over here. Um, haven't gotten to these ones uh, just yet, but I got mulch down on this entire bed here. And with just a couple of exceptions, they look like they're doing really well. Um, just a couple of things about this. I, I put cardboard down under basically all of this before I put the mulch down. There's very little grass it's popping up probably through the uh, where I didn't overlap the cardboard. The only one that's really not doing great at the moment is that one right there. And it's kind of hard to see. It looks like just like another stick. Uh, but what happened was I uh, it started to get really windy and start raining. And so I uh, just kind of packed up and went inside. But I left a few of the bigger boxes out here. Well, the wind caught one of the boxes. And it was a pretty heavy box. Just basically threw it on top of that thing and it uh, bent over and split. So. It looks like there's a few buds on it, so it wants to come back, but this will be eventually, like I said, a uh, little hazelnut hill for me. Um, but yeah, just using the Back to Eden gardening method uh, where you, you put down cardboard or newspaper, take all the stickers or, or uh, tape off the cardboard, as long as it's not like a glossy kind of a cardboard. Uh, put that down it'll kill off all the grass and weeds and everything underneath but leave all the organic material in the ground and then you cover it with wood chips and the wood chips will break down and uh, that compost tea will go into the ground and enrich the soil and uh, feed those nutrients into the ground uh, the microorganisms will go to town on that and really build your soil up um, this is going to be i think really really nice uh, when it gets going some of them have really taken off other ones are are starting to go. One of the problems I, I did have, I'll tell you here, um, the Back to Eden gardening method, they talk about trying to prepare a year in advance or at least six months in advance before the winter. Uh, and all of these chips are basically two or three days old. I had a tree company drop them off. And so a lot of these are still kind of hot. Um, so it's trying to break down that initial anaerobic uh, breaking down you can see some of them some of these kind of have a little bit of wilted uh, wilted leaves here um, I think part of that's just because um, these hot chips came down on top of it I'm not I'm not an expert I don't know but um, I think we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow I think that'll perk everything back up because it'll uh, everything have a chance to cool down and get some more nutrients in the ground from when they wash off the uh, the chips so I'll give you additional updates as time goes on and how things are going, but this is um, this is my hazelnuts.